I grew up in the northeastern U.S. I spent a lot of my childhood playing outside, playing in dirt, camping, you know, doing normal kid stuff. I went to college uh, and got a bachelor's in economics because the analytic side of that profession is really interesting to me. I decided I wanted to spend more time outside and started taking seasonal jobs and volunteer positions. Um, after a little while, I got a little bored of working from temporary job to temporary job and started looking for opportunities for more permanent work and decided that a graduate degree would really help that uh, along. So I looked for programs that would allow me to study vegetation ecology, in particular grasslands and woodlands. I went to school at the University of California, Berkeley, and got a master's in range management. The seasonal and volunteer jobs that I had included work with the Student Conservation Association, doing trail work in the Adirondacks in upstate New York, and also as a resource in intern at Lava Beds National Monument in Northern California. You know, I also spent time working for the Northwest Youth Corps doing trail work. Had a, a few seasons working in California and Arkansas for the Nature Conservancy, doing vegetation monitoring, grassland research, and prescribed fire work. I realized that I was spending all my free time and all of my income going out to play outside, and so I decided that I wanted to spend a little, at least a portion of my life doing that for work, even if it wasn't getting paid very much. The highlight of my job is the people that I work with, whether they're the other dedicated scientists working with the Forest Service, or the ranchers whose permits I administer, you know, or even members of the public who um, come to me with concerns, or people that I run into when I'm out working in the field. You know, it's really uh, fun and interesting to get to know them uh, and get to know the knowledge that they all bring uh, to the management of the forest. Advice that I would have for someone that was trying to get into the range management profession and the range management profession in the Forest Service is to get a really broad and diverse background in the sciences and economics um, so that you can understand both what the the livestock producers are doing and also understand the variety of aspects of uh, natural resource management that you know you'll be asked to uh, make decisions about um, and provide input on you know whether it's hydrology or soil science or botany uh, there's really a really broad range of things that you're expected to uh, pretty be pretty uh, knowledgeable about it. I'm Philip Brownsey, and I'm a rangeland management specialist. Make the Shasta Trinity National Forest your place of employment. Visit usajobs.gov.